Hello again, this is Mad Marty, and welcome to my first restaurant review on Mad Respect Eats. Additional information will be provided in the description, but feel free to check out my numerous reviews on Yelp. Today we'll be featuring Casey's Burger Bar and Broaster's Chicken in Machesney Park, Illinois. For those of you not familiar with the area, this location is somewhat easy to miss, but it is located next to a local laundry mat, so when you think of it that way, it is a little bit easier to find. This is a restaurant that actually features two business menus, one for Broaster's Chicken and another for Casey's Burger Bar. I've actually reviewed Broaster's in the past, and I admit, I always want to eat from this place whenever I watch Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad. It pretty much reminds me of Los Pollos Hermanos. The chicken is darn good, and it's my favorite place to go if I'm not in the mood for Popeyes. I've had their chicken on several occasions, both spicy and mild. I'll often get the potato wedges for a side, but I think I've also done macaroni bites in the past for the kids. The KC Burger Bar was a new one for me because it was a recent change to this business. That being said, the menu does look tasty enough. For this trip, I went with the KC Special, which was a half pound burger, minus the egg because I'm not a huge fan of doing that to a burger. But once I got it, it was a good presentation. In this burger, I had ham, a sausage patty, ketchup, and mustard. Good overall presentation, and they bring it to you when you dine in. I'm no master when it comes to burger building, but it was a good enough menu in my opinion. It's not like I could have done much better. The only real downside to the burger itself is, when I have a burger this complicated, I can't eat it with my hands. This has always been a very big character flaw of mine, because if I try to eat this with my hands, it falls apart. So I had to use a knife and fork, which is a crime in the eyes of some burger enthusiasts. So this is my problem, not theirs. Luckily I did have a knife and fork, so it wasn't a huge deal, and the meats were really good, especially the ham. This says something too, because I'm not huge into ham myself. Uh, finally I could say that even though the burger was tasty, it was a little pricey. What you saw here cost me over $19. So, let's talk pros. On the menu, it's generally good flavor across the board. I've never really had anything bland from anything on this menu. They are pretty good with their seasoning, and I don't think they're lazy about it. Good service all around, and they keep the place pretty spotless. Another unique feature of this restaurant is that they do serve beer and alcohol, and they also have a slot se section, which you can go and see if you're over 21. As for the con, like I hinted at earlier, price-wise, you're going to have to splurge a little bit if you're going on the burger end. On the chicken side of the menu, it's far more economical for the family. I just figured I'd toss it out there now, but like I said, the burger is still good. Finally, the verdict. Four stars on Yelp. I consider it a notch above standard in terms of fast food. It's on the higher end of that scale. I will be back. I am a fan, and I would recommend. So, once again, thank you for watching. This is Mad Marty, reminding you to not only support local when it comes to food, but do what's responsible, avoid what's irresponsible, make the most of what you got, and get respect. Mad respect. See you next time.